This is a video on the difference between means. The question states, do men frequent malls less than women? 70 men and 60 women were asked how many times they went to the mall last month. The men had a mean of 2.3 times and a standard deviation of 1.5. The women's mean was 3.4 and their standard deviation was 2.8. Use alpha equals 0 0.05. So let's start with the null hypothesis. We want to find out if men frequent malls less than women. And if they don't, if they're the same, then we say that H0 is that mu sub m, the population mean number of times men go to the mall, is equal to mu sub w, the population mean number of times women go to the mall. Since we want to find out if men frequent malls less than women, our alternative hypothesis H1 is mu sub m is less than mu sub w. So now let's get the cast of characters for the men. There were 70 men surveyed, so n sub m is 70. The mean for the men was 2.3, so x bar sub m is 2.3, and the men's standard deviation for these 70 men was 1.5. And since it's these 70 men, it's a sample standard deviation, not a population standard deviation. So s sub m is equal to 1.5. So now the cast of characters for the women. There were 60 women asked, so n sub w equals 60. The women's mean was 3.4, so x bar sub w equals 3.4, and the women's standard deviation was 2.8. And again, this is for these 60 women, it's the sample standard deviation for the women. S sub W equals 2.8. So now I'm ready to use my calculator. So here's the calculator. And I am conducting a hypothesis test for the difference between two population means when the population standard deviation is unknown. So I go to stat and then tests, and then number four is two SAMP t-test. We have two samples. It's a t-test because we don't know the population standard deviation, so that's number four. We're given statistics, so stats is correct. X1 bar, I'm gonna call the men the first sample, so x1 bar is the same as xm bar, which is 2.3. The standard deviation for the men was 1.5. And n1 is 70. X2 bar, that's the women's sample mean, is 3.4. The standard deviation for the women is 2.8. And N2, the women's sample size, is 60. Our alternative hypothesis is that mu sub m is less than mu sub w, so I want mu sub 1 less than mu sub 2. So now we're asked if we should pool the data. We only do that if we think that the standard deviations for the populations are the same. 
we don't know anything about the population standard deviation. And the sample standard deviations are very different. So I'm going to say no for pooling the data. And hit calculate. So the important thing here is we're given t, which is a test statistic. And that rounded to two decimal places is negative 2.73. And we're given p, the p-value, which is about 0.004. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. So we had a test statistic t, which was about negative 2.73, and a p-value, which was about 0.004. And I will use a method of p-values for this particular problem. So the p-value, which is about 0 0.004, is less than 0 0.05, the level of significance alpha. So the p-value of 0 0.004 tells us that if we were to conduct another study, and if it was true that the mean for the men was equal to the mean for the women for the number of times they frequent malls, then there would only be about a 0.4% chance that we would get results such that the men's mean was less than the women's mean by as much or more than what we got, which was a difference of 1.1. So it's very unlikely that we would get the men's mean to be so different from the women's mean, so unlikely, so much less than 0 0.05, that we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. And we can conclude that we reject H0, accept H1, and that there is statistically significant evidence at the 0 0.05 level of significance to conclude that on average men frequent the mall less than women. And I'm done with the problem.